Step one is get to the start, which might sound a little bit obvious, but that in itself, with almost two years of looking at this route, I guess is quite a accomplishment if we get there, which we will. It's just after 5 a.m. Monday morning, and today's the day that we decided to take on this route that, as I said, we've been planning for, or we've been looking at and toying with the idea of for the last two years, at least. 300 kilometers, which starts at the highest point of the OEE, which is around 2,000 meters above sea level. And it winds its way through the Hajar Mountains, all the way down to where the mountains meet sand. And then the last sort of 100K is on sand-ish through one of my favorite places, Al Qudra, and to the back of well, the back of the gym, down Al Qudra Street, skip straight next to the gym, 300 kilometers. Well, on the GPS file, it says it has around 5,000, well, uh, 5,800 meters of elevation, and there are certain places on the course that we definitely know is not suitable for mountain bikes. So there will be some hike bike. Let's get into it. We're almost ready to rock and roll on the bikes. We're going to say goodbye to the car. Luckily, this guy's going to drive it back. Those guys are playing volleyball. And we actually have to go up to the top of the mountain to be at the highest point of the UAE to then go down. We are at the very top, 20 minutes, 5K, 4.5K to get up here. Now we can start. It's 8.30 in the morning. It's about 12 degrees. Absolutely wonderful. Sun's come up over there. Yeah, that way. Dubai is that way. Covered 50k and we found a nice place for some water. I'm busy on the phone, doesn't really want to chat to us. And we've finally got some gravel. Been road so far, that's why it's been quick. Now we're in the wadi. We have about 7k. And then the fun starts. Those switchbacks is the first climb. We should just come up the first bit. Let's go. Change his uniform. Our estimate was that. 10% of the course is not passable on a bike. Almost 60k in, we've reached the first of that 10%. <laughs> it is not passable on a bike. Three K pushing the bike uphill.
this is a good section. Single track, loads of rocks, and if you come off, you're in trouble. Very high risk. It's like going to the casino and putting everything on black seven. There's always a time to get video when you're doing something high risk. decent amount of lugging the bike in this section but with that comes some pretty decent views as well and now we're riding again this is nice this is a nice long windy descent 10k Easy peasy, nice reward for, I think we carried our bikes for almost 8K. Ah, that's nice to be riding again. Sign. So, lunch. They obviously know that we need carbohydrate. The boys have taken good care of us. Lunch bill, any guesses? 27 dirhams. We also had two bottles of water and a cup of tea. Biscuits. And a pack of biscuits for our dessert. 27 dirhams. I highly recommend this area for cheap eating. This bit's definitely not our favorite. Headwind, loads of trucks, but it's nearly over. We've got uh, 300 meters to go. We've been driving, riding through this for about 10K. It's nearly done. <clears throat> We're back in the waddies. and we're very happy about it. Super nice in here. We were just too long along the wadi, admiring how beautiful it was, and suddenly, you can tell my own voice, up, 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 up. 15%, God knows for how long, this is so good. Lots of fruit, 
but this restaurant is going to take good care of us, the guy told me. Well, dinner was nice, and we're back on the road, and we've been gifted some tar to ride on. Dinner was expensive. We paid 50 euros for dinner. We've now been out for 12 hours, and we've eaten and drunk very generously for 87 dirhams. We highly appreciate the competitive prices of the tourist industry in the Northern Emirates. Anyway, this road will run out in about 500 meters, and we'll be back in pitch black body. 10 p.m., so we decided it was a good idea to stop the coffee. <laughs> 10 p.m. It's okay. I just thought about that. We are just coming up to midnight and we have 100k back to the gym. Will we make it before it's light? That's the question we're currently debating here. 1 a.m., middle of nowhere, 250k cycles. What a great place for two fellows to have an oaking. 2.12 and 260 kilometers. We just stopped we're not sure where we are. But we figured it out. We're just about to crack on again. And yes, we're on track to be at the gym at 6 a.m. And so we're having a rest. We have just done 300 kilometers. It is five o'clock in the morning and we are in the best service station, convenience store I've ever been in my life. Double espresso and off. 50k to go. We're quite happy about that. Apparently, it's daybreak. <laughs> we might get there before sunrise, but we haven't beat daybreak. But that's okay, because we've had a good time and we still are having an adventure. Jumping fences. What a lovely touch. We're even doing a couple of Ks at our beloved Al Qudra. Oh, look at that. Amazing. And of course, we finish on the gravel. And we're excited about that too. We made it. Why wouldn't you? <laughs>